Welcome to first time watching channel, today I am going to recap 2023 drama, thriller movie titled Game of Deceit. At the beginning of the movie, Ian is on a date with his high school crush Maya, who got married immediately after they graduated and lost her husband thereafter. Ian barely spoke to Maya in high school. She describes how challenging it is for her to raise her two girls alone. She feels wonderful talking about it because it has been more than a year since anyone has even mentioned his name. She claimed that she still misses him and that it seems surreal that he is gone. He was a good husband and parent. Ian claims that he can relate to her feelings because shortly after losing his mother, he also lost his father. On their first date, they had an intense discussion. Three months later, Ian and Maya appear to have found happiness, they both appear to be very happy. Ian is addicted to alcohol and uses the family money on betting without the consent of Maya. Maya carried out a detailed investigation into her husband's spending habits. When she confronted Ian about it, the two of them got into a fight. A year later, Maya hard enough of Ian and says she can't do it anymore. She discovers that Ian is not who he seems to be. She finds herself drawn deeper into the web of deceit, and she begins to question her own sanity. With her career, reputation, and even her life on the line, she phoned her friend Rochelle and asked for permission to stay at her place for a while with her two daughters. Maya was just about to gather her things and go when Ian came in and begged her not to. Ian claims that he needs some additional time, he would attend the program and receive assistance, he wants to change for the better in order to better himself for her and her children, he promises to be a true family. He only wants one more chance, but Maya told him that he had already been given enough opportunities and she is done with him since he had betrayed her trust. Ian, who claimed he had been waiting for the proper time but it had never arrived, pulled out the ring from under the bed. Without her, he is useless and terrified of losing her. Maya, who pleaded with him not to make her second guess her impending choice, gave him one more chance. Ian pledges to give up drinking and gambling in favor of being a decent husband. The scene changes and Maya was trying to mount a security camera on a wall. Ian got home from work. Maya informed him that the nanny begins work today and little more security wouldn't harm, but Ian asked her to take it off because it seemed ominous. Maya removed the camera as requested and hid it somewhere more secure. In the next scene, Maya introduces the new babysitter Elle to her husband. The new nanny is brought to Noel and Grace's bedroom. Maya bemoans the fact that she has been so worn out recently that she fell asleep during a meeting with the principal. Ian told Maya the wonderful news of her promotion. He claimed that they were elevating him to the rank of lieutenant and suggested a possible celebration. Little Prince, a son to carry his name, is the ideal present that Ian has in mind. Maya informed him that she was done changing diapers, had a career she wanted to return to, and didn't want to get pregnant. In the evening, Ian made his way home from work. Megan, a friend of Maya's, and she were on the phone chatting about their plans to hang out later that day. Maya is told by Ian that he has a reservation at her favorite restaurant for dinner this evening. He claims that he wants to put an end to their conflict since he is weary of it. I don't want to have another child with you, Ian, certainly not with someone who often lies about their drinking and gambling. You are an addict. He knew his wife would dispute with him, so he sneakily put a sleeping pill in her cup. Maya wanted a drink to soothe her nerves after their heated dispute, she drank it and passed out. A little while later, she awoke next to Ian, looked at her phone, and discovered that Megan had left her a message. Running from her bed, she jumped into her car and watched the security camera videotape. She sobbed violently as she observed Ian making out with her unconscious body. Maya realized she needed to gather unflinching proof to bring her beloved police husband to justice as the abuse became out of hand. The following morning, Maya go to her husband's workplace, she got into the police station and met with the deputy chief who was ready to receive her report. Just before, she could say something, Ian, who had been on patrol, returned and needed to fetch his phone. Maya became confused as he worked in. 
she came up with a quick solution to allay any suspicions. She claimed she was coming to bring him lunch. Ian found it strange, but at the moment he was unable to determine what was wrong. Back at home, we see Elle playing with Noel and Grace. She asks Grace to show her to her room after spotting one of the surveillance cameras while she was roaming about. Elle can be seen looking over the video on Maya's computer while also taking pictures with her phone. When Noel saw her in the act, she caught her and asked her what she was doing. Elle advised Noel not to speak to her parents and then lied to conceal her tracks by saying she was preparing a surprise package for them. The scene switches to show Ian and Maya returning home in their car. Once at home, Ian became intrigued and took a folder out of Maya's handbag. In the folder, Ian noticed the proof. Maya asked him to explain the reason behind her recent propensity for napping. An intense argument broke out between Maya and Ian. They were arguing when Mr. Stocklawn, a neighbor, saw them through the window. He reported a disturbance by calling the police right away. Mr. Stocklawn stopped by to see if everything was well, and L, who answered the door, confirmed that everything was. A short while later, Hernandez arrived at the residence in response to a follow-up call. Ian explained to her that he had a minor disagreement with Maya and that the neighbor may have heard the sound of the glass shattering. She intended to speak with Maya but was confronted with her absence and departed when she got another call. Maya had a stomach bug and wasn't feeling too well. L takes advantage of this chance to get close to Ian. She assured Ian that Maya has a spouse and a beautiful home, which is all she could have ever wished for. She enviously admires her. A man is not a man until he knows how to raise one, all I ever wanted was to make him proud. Ian says L will be a wonderful mother and leans in for a kiss. L advised him to go to bed because it was late. Ian who was intoxicated with alcohol tries to force himself on Maya. She told him to stop that she is pregnant. Ian got excited because he will soon be a dad. The next day while at work, Deputy Hernandez report that a woman wanted to check up on her father but her father is not answering his phone. The father happens to be Mr. Stocklawn, Ian's neighbor. Chief gave the order to Ian and Hernandez to go look into it. They discover the old man is dead. Ian phoned Chief and told him that it is suicide from the look of it. Hernandez says something is off because the old man has his keys on. Elle arrived at her workplace in the middle of the night, broke into the house, hide her tracks by removing some security cameras. Eliminate every folder from Ian's laptop. She drove off after taking Noel and Grace. Ian arrived at the house after dark and went to check on the kids, but he couldn't locate them anywhere. He called Maya and informed her that the children were missing. The following morning, Maya and Ian submit a report. Liz mentioned to Maya that the previous time she visited, she observed some security cameras in her house. Liz gave her a device and instructed her to plug it into her laptop so she could view the video remotely. Elle arrived at the station right away after receiving a text from Maya. After receiving her report, Liz did a little more research and found that there isn't an L. Taylor registered in the state. When Ian checked the school magazine at home after running a facial recognition program, he recognized Elle's face and learned her real name. He challenged Maya to tell him who Rochelle Turner is to her. Liz viewed the video of Ian strangling Mr. Stocklawn to death while she had remote access to Maya's computer. Ian explains to Maya that he is aware Rochelle attended the same high school as them, he is also aware that she has never worked for a nanny agency. She employed her on her own, and she always planned everything with Rochelle. Both engaged in combat, Maya struck Ian in the head, and she fled for her life to Rochelle Place. When Rochelle and Maya were speaking, Rochelle's phone abruptly beeped, indicating that Ian was at the door. Rochelle led the child to a covert location. Ian finally arrived at the place, he fought with Maya and Rochelle overpowering them. Maya swears she is going to harm herself and his baby if he shoot Rochelle. As the setting shifts, Liz and her team arrive at Ian's house but find no one there. Maya claims she won't damage herself if he lets Rochelle go. 
She begged him to let her leave, and he complied. She bolted for the door. Rochelle hit Ian with a rod just as Maya and Ian were attempting to make up, prompting her to rush outside and join Maya and the kids in the car. Ian stood in front of the car aiming his gun at his wife but lacked the confidence to pull the trigger. The movie abruptly ends when Maya runs him over.